Hi, I'm Beth and I'm definitely not your typical Beaver Council candidate. My career started quite conventionally with an internship and several years in first opinion practice. However, in the last few years, it's diversified in some quite random ways. And I hope this mixture of conventional and unconventional can bring a useful viewpoint to council. I lacked confidence in ambulatory practice and consequently I found it very stressful. After several years, I was on the precipice of leaving the profession. I realised that this is a really common experience um, and I hope my first hand experience of it could be beneficial to council. I'm aware that there's lots of incredible help and support available through Beaver and others. However, unfortunately, I just never engaged with these resources. Honestly, as a typical vet, high achieving, self-sufficient, independent, it didn't really cross my mind. And even if it had, I don't know if I would have had the confidence to reach out. It's amazing what Beaver offer, but how many people fail to make the most of it because they're too shy or intimidated to engage with people they see as leaders in our profession? I don't have a simple solution, perhaps, but perhaps my experience can contribute to ongoing developments in this area. Luckily, I was working in a supportive practice who created a unique role for me, which grew over time to become practice manager. I instantly fell in love with the job, from ensuring the smooth running of the day-to-day -day operations, creating an internship programme, supporting a new head nurse to fulfil her potential, and so much more. I realised that all of these things were centred around people management. Practices are often run by either fantastic clinicians with limited business and people management training, or by managers with little to no clinical experience. Upskilling people managers throughout the profession, from head nurses to residents to clinical directors and business owners, is key to improving workplaces across the industry. In practice, my team tried to seek out some of this training, but honestly, there's so much out there, we just didn't know where to start. Would it be relevant to us? Would it be pitched at the right level? Would it be concise enough given the pressures on our time? I would love Beaver to be able to either provide this training or signpost vets and nurses to the most relevant resources. In terms of the recruitment and retention crisis, not only do we need to address the environments facing vets and nurses in practice, but we also need to look at the outside influences impacting them. One major external factor is the current lack of public trust in the veterinary profession and the impact that this has on our social licence to operate. It's essential we continue to work with the public to improve their trust in us and developing transparency throughout our profession to help us face less backlash when we're client facing each day. Last year, I took a big leap and I set up on my own specialising in equine exports. It was honestly the best decision I've ever made and I've really found my niche in our profession. That said, it was hugely daunting, not only taking the risk, but also the practicalities of setting up on my own business, organising insurance, PAYE, a wholesaler, etc, etc, etc. I was lucky enough to have had experience of most of this, but I can only imagine how intimidating this would be from someone coming directly from clinical practice. I'm a huge champion of diversification in practice, and I would love to offer help and support to people looking to redefine what being an equine veterinary surgeon means for them. I'm really passionate about our industry and every individual within it. And I think my career makes it clear that I'm one of the only strange vets that really quite likes paperwork. Um, as such, I'm really excited to the idea of contributing to council in any way that I can, uh, from supporting and doing the legwork for other people's initiatives or working on ideas of my own. I've heard so much about Beaver Council over the past few years for our current JVP Imogen, and it's clear that it's possible to make a real difference to our profession with enthusiasm and hard work as a Beaver Council member. Um, having launched my own business, it's given me the flexibility to manage my own time. And so this is the perfect opportunity for me to play an active role in council. Clearly, I would love for everyone to vote, but ultimately, whether that's for me or for another candidate who better aligns with your goals, I think it would just be great for as many people as possible to have their say as to what Beaver Council and as such the future of our profession looks like.